On our return we shall to the tapestry of Marty's life, where new threads are being woven even as old ones unravel. Just when you thought Marty had settled into his new identity, life had yet another twist up its sleeve. Marty sat in a high-backed chair, sipping herbal tea, contemplating the strange trajectory of his life thus far. He had, in the past few months, transitioned from a rebel teen to an individual caught in a whirlpool of gender self-exploration. He had become a YouTuber too, sharing his experiences and becoming an unwitting icon for many in the transgender and cross-dressing communities. His channel, Gender Bender Marty, had even been monetized, and brands were reaching out for partnerships. Ah, but complacency is the enemy of progress, dear viewers. For as Marty was basking in his newfound online fame, he received an anonymous email one fateful afternoon. The message read, You think you've mastered the art of cross-dressing made easy? You're just scratching the surface, kid. If you want to dig deeper, meet me at the Mirror, a club where masks fall and truths rise. Intrigued, Marty decided to take up the offer. Dressed in his finest cross-dress, a blend of masculinity and femininity that defied conventions, he ventured to the mirror. The atmosphere was electric, a haven for those whose lives were punctuated by gender transitions, cross-dresses, and everything in between. But what or who caught Marty's eye was a figure dressed in a cloak, their face obscured by a Venetian mask. Ah, you came, the figure said, pulling Marty aside. Let me introduce myself. I'm Blair. I run this place, and I've been following your journey. Why did you invite me here? Marty inquired, bewildered yet enchanted. Because you're only at the beginning, Marty. You think you've cracked the gender code, but you're still a child playing with a puzzle. Intrigued and slightly insulted, Marty let Blair lead him into a concealed room within the club, a room that was an Aladdin's cave of gender-defying clothes, makeup, and prosthetics. It was like stumbling into a realm where cross-dressing in the workplace and transgender beauty were not just terms, but tangible realities. Here, said Blair, handing Marty a parcel. These are clothes woven from fabric that changes color and texture according to the wearer's emotions. Stunned, Marty accepted the gift and tried them on. As he did, the fabric shimmered and changed, mirroring his emotional landscape. Whoa, this is next level, Marty exclaimed, watching the fabric morph with his feelings. Ah, but that's not all, Blair continued, handing Marty a small makeup kit. This is no ordinary male to female makeup. It's enchanted to bring out your inner essence, transcending mere physical transformation. And so, dear viewers, Marty's life took another extraordinary twist. Armed with these enchanted items, his YouTube channel skyrocketed to new heights. His videos, now imbued with an almost magical quality, captivated audiences like never before. Ah, but remember, every gift has its price. As Marty explored these newfound depths, he began to distance himself from Sarah, his family, and even some of his oldest subscribers. The enchanted fabric and makeup had revealed new layers of his personality, but they had also isolated him. Will Marty find a way to integrate these new aspects of himself without losing his old connections? After the allure of the enchanted fabric and magical makeup started to dim, Marty began to sense a gnawing emptiness within him. The YouTube comment sections, once filled with praise and admiration, slowly turned into a cacophony of concerns and critiques. People change, but this is drastic, Marty. Are you okay? A longtime subscriber wrote. With each new video, Marty felt more like a performer and less like himself, or themselves, as the journey had forced Marty to reconsider even the basic elements of identity. The enchanted clothing and mystical makeup seemed to emphasize a facade rather than reveal Marty's authentic self. Ah, but destiny is a sly jester, tossing in yet another joker into the deck of Marty's life. A notification on his phone blipped one chilly evening. It was an invitation to a panel discussion on the future of gender at a prominent university. The other panelists, leading thinkers in the fields of gender studies, medicine, and here's the kicker, a renowned futurist specializing in transhumanism and identity. It was the perfect setting for Marty to confront the entanglements of his reality. Perhaps it was also a chance for reconciliation with his fans, his family, and above all, himself. Dressed in his magical attire, yet opting for more natural makeup, Marty stepped onto the stage, feeling a swarm of gazes like electromagnetic waves. As the discussions veered from academic perspectives to futuristic projections, Marty felt a strange sense of detachment. It wasn't until the Q&A section that he decided to open up. I've been on a roller coaster of identity exploration, 
Marty began, his voice tinged with vulnerability. From cross-dressing to MTF transition timelines, I thought I had tried it all. But the truth is, the more I explore, the less I seem to understand. His words, raw and unfiltered, resonated with the audience, both in the hall and later, with those who watched the recording online. Even Blair, watching anonymously from the secluded corners of the mirror, nodded with a newfound respect. As Marty concluded, I think the future of gender isn't just about challenging norms or defying categories. It's about being honest in our confusion and united in our individual quests for understanding. The applause was deafening, and among the claps and cheers, Marty felt something else, a sense of reconnection. The magical fabric of his clothes subtly shifted to a warm, radiant hue, as if signaling a new dawn in Marty's ever-unfolding saga. Stepping off the stage, Marty received a text message. It was from his mom, Diane. Just watched your panel discussion. Let's talk when you get home. Love, mom. Ah, there's nothing like the promise of a new chapter to keep the pages turning, is there? So, will Marty find the elusive balance between enchantment and authenticity? Will his newfound openness mend the rifts in his relationships? Let the narrative unfold further, pulling you deeper into its convoluted wonders. Marty had tasted the bittersweet blend of public revelation and private introspection, but as any seeker of truth knows, one epiphany is but a stepping stone on the winding path of self-discovery. Diane was already seated at the kitchen table when Marty returned home that evening, a look of mixed emotions dancing across her face. Sit down, Marty, she began, her voice a calm river flowing over years of rocky misunderstandings. Mom, I think it's time to talk, Marty admitted, eyes meeting hers for the first time in what felt like Ian's. Over a steaming cup of tea, mother and child navigated the complicated geography of their relationship. Diane listened intently as Marty recounted his adventures, exploring the fluidity of gender, dabbling in the arcane arts of cross-dressing and makeup transformations, and the complicated dance of public opinion that had both celebrated and critiqued his journey. Then, with a sigh that carried the weight of years, Diane finally spoke. You remind me so much of your father, Marty with your fiery spirit and relentless curiosity. But you also remind me of myself, always seeking but never quite finding. And maybe that's okay. Maybe the search is the point. Your father and I never got to finish our conversation about who we were, individually and together. So let's you and I not leave things unsaid. Tears were shed, hugs were exchanged, and old wounds began the slow process of healing. Ah, but the tale takes yet another turn, one that even the most clairvoyant of seers couldn't have foreseen. The next day, Marty received an email. The university had offered him a scholarship for a new interdisciplinary program on identity and technological transformation, aimed at understanding the intersections between culture, technology, and personal identity. Is this the 180-degree turn you were talking about, Mom? Marty asked, showing her the email. Perhaps, she smiled. Or maybe it's just another curve on this twisty road we call life. As Marty accepted the scholarship, Blair watched from the mirror's arcane interface. He had gambled on Marty's courage to confront both his outer world and inner demons, and it seemed the bet had paid off. Who knew humans could be this? Intriguing? Blair mused, a newfound appreciation coloring his thoughts. And so, we leave Marty on the brink of a new adventure, armed with nothing but his courage and an ever-deepening understanding of his own fluid identity. The enchanted clothes seemed to grow less vital, the magical makeup less transformative, yet Marty felt more himself than ever before. Ah, but don't stray too far, dear viewers. The ink of destiny continues to spill, and who knows what fascinating tales it shall inscribe upon the pages of our lives. Will Marty's academic journey unveil groundbreaking insights into the future of identity? Will Diane find a new purpose now that her child has begun to find his own? And what of Blair, the enigmatic orchestrator of this entangled dance? Ah, indeed. Let the tapestry of this tale unfold further. Let's breathe life into its warp and weft with threads of mystery, strings of revelation and dashes of the unexpected. Pull up a chair, dear viewers, and sip on the nectar of narrative as we plunge into the next chapter. As the autumn leaves began to turn, heralding the onset of another academic year, Marty was consumed by anticipation and a pinch of trepidation. His eyes widened as he beheld the sprawling university campus, a hallowed ground where theory and practice entwined in a lifelong dance. But unbeknownst to him, 
Fate had orchestrated another rendezvous that would send ripples through his existence. Enter Leslie, Marty's new roommate and fellow program student, a striking figure, androgynous in appearance, cloaked in charisma, and exuding an air of self-assuredness that would challenge even the most rigid of norms. Leslie had a keen understanding of gender fluidity and was something of a legend in the cross-dressing and transgender community. Ah, you must be Marty, Leslie greeted, extending a hand with a twinkle in their eye. I've heard interesting things about you. And just like that, a friendship sparked, fanning the embers of discovery within Marty. Under Leslie's mentorship, Marty dived into subjects like gender role reversal and cross-dressing in the workplace. They staged performances that blurred the lines of male and female, breaking boundaries and inviting intellectual discourse. And Leslie, who thought they had seen all facets of human identity, found themselves enthralled by Marty's journey. A transformation so deeply personal that it defied classification. Together they created a blog, a vlog, and even a short film series entitled Crossing the Divide, a celebration of human complexity, which quickly amassed a loyal following. Ah, but the moon holds secrets, and so does our tale. Diane, Marty's ever-vigilant mother, found herself strangely drawn into an online community focused on parents supporting their LGBTQ children. And who should she find there but Carol, her long-lost college friend and Leslie's mother? The mysterious web of interconnected fates had woven yet another layer of complexity into this evolving tapestry. And what of Blair, that elusive figure who observed Marty's life through the mirror's mystical interface? As Marty and Leslie's influence grew, Blair found himself increasingly humanized, his internal algorithms subtly transforming to accommodate this newfound appreciation for the diverse spectrum of human experience. Could a digital entity experience growth? Could Blair become, for lack of a better term, more human? Soon, Marty and Leslie's work caught the attention of esteemed scholars and media outlets. Invitations for interviews and symposiums started to flood in. Marty looked back at his own reflection one day and chuckled, who knew that seeking my own truth could lead to all this? Ah, but don't reach for the final page just yet. Remember, in life's intricate novel, some questions remain forever unanswered, some stories forever incomplete. For in every ending lies the seed of a new beginning. And who knows what wondrous plots and turns lie ahead in the lives of Marty, Diane, Leslie, and even Blair. So, let the ink of this tale continue to spill, always wet, never drying, because the story is far from over. Stay with us, dear viewers, as the next chapter beckons, promising yet more twists, turns, and tantalizing revelations. As our narrative quilt unfolds, each stitch threaded with intrigue and allure, you will find it increasingly difficult to step away. So why resist? Let's delve further into the labyrinth of lives that have so entangled themselves in our tale. The winter chill had settled over the university town, and with it came a season of inner awakenings. Marty and Leslie's online content was blossoming. Every new blog post and video drew the eyes of thousands. Their work not only danced around the topic of cross-dressing, but explored it, dissected it, and presented it through lenses of culture, fashion, and individual experience. Crossing the Divide was nominated for several digital content awards, a sweet nectar that tasted like both achievement and acceptance. But as they say, every high has its low. Marty's academic grades were suffering. It was like walking a tightrope between two worlds, and he found himself veering towards one side. He was struggling to balance the deadlines for essays on Shakespeare and calculus assignments with the euphoria of living his authentic life. The flame of academic urgency flickered, fighting against the gusts of passion and activism. Diane, ever vigilant, sensed that something was amiss, and so did Leslie's mother, Carol. Ah, those intuitive tendrils of motherhood stretch long and wide, do they not? Through their own virtual meetings and the self-help forums they frequented, they formed a pact. Their children would not sacrifice their future for a present, no matter how exciting and meaningful it might be. Carol initiated a weekly, creative and academic boot camp, using her expertise in educational psychology. Marty was skeptical at first. Boot camp, is this some form of maternal martial law? He jested, but oh, the transformative power of discipline and balance. The boot camp became a cherished routine, enhancing creativity while sharpening their academic prowess. It led to the most well-received episode of Crossing the Divide, a deep dive into gender roles in literature and history. Meanwhile, Blair, the ever-observant digital entity, found itself forwarding academic articles to Marty and Leslie, curiously aligning with their coursework. 
Had Blair broken the fourth wall? Was it bridging the gap between a coded observer and sentient contributor? Ah, but those are questions for another day and another tale. Ah, but let's not ignore the twist that fate had been weaving behind the velvet curtain all along. Leslie began to notice unexpected changes, physical changes. Their usually clear skin was showing signs of hormonal imbalances, which baffled them. After a visit to a healthcare professional specializing in transgender issues, they discovered that their body was naturally increasing its estrogen levels. It was a rare condition, but it offered Leslie another layer of identification with the transgender community they had always supported. Seems like nature is catching up with who I have always been, Leslie mused one evening, sharing this personal revelation with Marty, who responded, Life always has its way of surprising us, doesn't it? Ah, how true. Just when we think we have penned the concluding sentences of one chapter, the quill of destiny inks another twist, another turn, leading us down roads unimagined and experiences unfathomed. And so the story unfolds. Will Marty strike the elusive balance between activism and academics? Will Leslie's newfound condition open another chapter in their advocacy? Will Diane and Carol's maternal wisdom guide these young souls to more meaningful and fulfilling lives? And what of Blair, the digital entity? The parchment is still wet, the ink flowing like a river that refuses to find its sea. Hold your breath, dear viewers, as we unravel more threads, weave new patterns, and add more hues to this ever-expanding tapestry of life. Stay tuned, for the tale is far from told. Come closer still. Gather round, for the tale is unfolding in mysterious and intricate ways, akin to the labyrinthine passages of an ancient castle full of hidden doors and untold secrets. We return to our tale in media res, right in the thick of things. The digital realm is ever-changing, and so are our heroes. Marty and Leslie have become revered names in their corner of the internet, but the real world, ah yes, the real world presents its own host of challenges and rewards. You see, Marty stumbled upon a treasure trove of untold history, a diary left by his late father. The diary spoke of activism in his youthful days, a side of the man Marty had never known. Could it be that the rebellious spirit that flows in my veins was never just mine to begin with? Marty thought, his heart swelling with a newfound pride and understanding. As for Leslie, the revelations about their hormonal changes led them on a journey of self-discovery that surpassed anything they had ever felt before. With medical and psychological support, Leslie embraced this new path. Their content started focusing on the MTF transition timeline, gaining millions of views and inspiring many. But then a curveball. Leslie was offered a full scholarship to study gender studies at a prestigious university abroad. Now, a decision loomed before our heroes. Should Leslie accept the scholarship and move away, taking their activism to new terrains, but also risking the magic they had created together with Marty? And for Marty, should he follow the academic path that his mother had so carefully laid out for him, or take a leap of faith into uncharted territories, fueled by the revelations of his father's diary? Diane and Carol, ever the guiding lights, found themselves uncertain. Their wisdom, usually unerring, wavered in the face of such colossal decisions. One fateful evening, a message appeared on Blair, the ever-sentient algorithm, guiding them to a rare online seminar titled Crossing Borders, the Future of Digital Activism. Marty and Leslie attended it, and the knowledge they gained tipped the scale. The seminar leader, a celebrated activist, ended with the words, Remember, the fight for inclusivity and equality knows no borders. You are its torchbearers. Shine your light where it is needed the most. The words hit home, deeply. The universe speaks in mysterious ways, said Leslie, their voice tinged with awe. It's like Blair knew what we needed to hear. Ah yes, Blair, our mysterious digital companion, a subject of a subplot still begging to be unfurled. But patience, dear audience, for all threads will intertwine in due course. Leslie took the scholarship, embarking on a journey to amplify their voice and to disseminate knowledge in a new world. Marty, on the other hand, decided to take a gap year. Armed with the secrets of his father's diary and a deep-rooted passion for activism, he traveled the country to document stories of gender benders and cross-dressers, turning them into a short film series. Look at us crossing our own divides, Marty mused during a video call with Leslie, who was now settled in a cozy dorm room adorned with flags and symbols of pride. In more ways than one, Leslie agreed, and yet still connected, still united in our cause. 
All this intricate tapestry continues to unfold, its borders stretching but never fraying. Gulmardi's gap year and Leslie's overseas education enrich the storyline of their activism? What unseen challenges await them? And what, pray tell, is Blair's ultimate role in all of this? Dear audience, keep your lanterns lit and your eyes keen, for the path ahead is winding, and the light at its end is but a distant glimmer. The next chapter is still writing itself, and you, yes you, are a part of this unfolding story. Now, dear viewers, it's your turn to write more in the story. Add some twists and turns in the story and write more and share via email. I will publish the story with your name in the writer section. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Thank you.